Riosigot is a novel drug that is a stimulator of soluble guanylate cyclase. Clinical trials have looked at riosigot as a new approach to treat two forms of pulmonary hypertension, chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension and pulmonary arterial hypertension. Riosigot constitutes the first drug of a novel class of SGC stimulators. Contraindications, riosigot can cause fetal harm and is therefore contraindicated in pregnant women. Adverse effects, serious adverse effects and clinical trials included bleeding. Hypertension, headache, and gastrointestinal disorders also occurred. Interactions, nitrates and phosphodiesterase inhibitors increase the hypertensive effect of riosigot. Combining such drugs is therefore contraindicated. Riosigot levels in the blood are reduced by tobacco smoking and strong inducers of the liver enzyme CYP3A4, and increased by strong cytochrome inhibitors. Chemistry and mechanism of action, in healthy individuals nitric oxide acts as a signaling molecule on vascular smooth muscle cells to induce vasodilation. NO binds to soluble guanylate cyclase and mediates the synthesis of a secondary messenger cyclic guanosine monophosphate. SGC forms heterodimers consisting of a larger alpha subunit and a smaller heme binding beta subunit. The synthesized CGMP acts as a secondary messenger and activates CGMP-dependent protein kinase to regulate cytosolic calcium ion concentration. This changes the actinouromyosin contractility, which results in vasodilation. NO is produced by the enzyme endothelial nitric oxide synthetase enosynthase. In patients with pulmonary arterial hypertension enos levels are reduced. This results in overall lower levels of endothelial cell-derived NO and reduced vasodilation of smooth muscle cells. NO also reduces pulmonary smooth muscle cell growth and antagonizes platelet inhibition, factors which play a key role in the pathogenesis of PAH. In contrast to NO and HAME independent SGC activators like Sinusigot, the SGC stimulator Riosigot directly stimulates SGC activity independent of NO and also acts in synergy with NO to produce anti-aggregatory, anti-proliferative, and vasotilitary effects. Pharmacology, Riosigot at concentration between 0.1 and 100 ml stimulates in a dose-dependent manner SGC activity up to 73-fold. In addition, it acts synergistically with diethylamine NO, the donor of NO to increase SGC activity in vitro up to 112-fold. A phase I study showed that riosigot is rapidly absorbed, and maximum plasma concentration is reached between 0.5 a euro 1.5 h. The mean elimination half-life appears to be 5 a euro 10 hours. Riosigot plasma concentrations have been also shown to be quite variable between patients, indicating that for clinical use it is probably necessary to titrate the drug specifically for each individual. History equals Discovery equals, the first nitric oxide-independent, HAME-dependent SGC stimulator YC1, a synthetic benzylindazole derivative, was described in 1978. The characterization 20 years later demonstrated that as well as increasing SGC activity, YC1 acted in synergy with NO to stimulate SGC. However, YC1 was a relatively weak vasodilator and had side effects. Therefore, the search began for novel indazole compounds that were more potent and more specific SGC stimulators. The result was the identification of Bay 41 to 2272 and Bay 41 to 8543. Both compounds were tested in various preclinical studies on different animal models and appeared to improve systemic arterial oxygenation. To improve the pharmacologic and pharmacokinetic profile an additional 1,000 compounds were screened leading to the discovery of riosigot. Riosigot was tested in mouse and rat disease models, where it effectively reduced pulmonary hypertension and reversed the associated right heart hypertrophy and ventricular remodeling. Several clinical trials have been undertaken to investigate and evaluate diverse aspects of riosigot and some of them are still ongoing. Equals phase I clinical trials equals, one of the first studies was designed to test the safety profile, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of single oral doses of riosigot. 
58 healthy male subjects were given Ryosigot orally in a randomized, placebo-controlled trial. Doses of Ryosigot were increased stepwise, and Ryosigot was well tolerated up to 2.5 mg. Equals phase 2 clinical trials equals, a proof of concept study, reported by the University of Jiayin Lung Center, was the first small study to investigate safety, tolerability, pharmacokinetics and efficacy parameters. The drug was well tolerated and superior to NO in efficacy and duration. An open-label, non-controlled phase 2 trial of Ryosigot in 75 adult patients functional class 2 or 3, evaluated the safety and tolerability, and the effects on hemodynamics, exercise capacity and functional class. Ryosigot was given three times daily for 12 weeks. Doses were titrated at two-week intervals from 1.0 mg three times daily to a maximum of 2.5 mg three times daily. Ryosigot had a favorable safety profile, and also significantly improved exercise capacity and hemodynamic parameters such as pulmonary vascular resistance, cardiac output and pulmonary arterial pressure compared to baseline values. In addition, a phase 2 study of Ryosigot is underway in patients suffering from other forms of pH such as associated with interstitial lung disease. First results from this study are expected in 2011. Equals phase 3 clinical trials equals, the phase 3 trials on Ryosigot are multi-center studies. The study program includes large randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled pivotal trial phase, and open-label extensions of these studies. Details of these studies are reported on clinicaltrials.gov, a register of studies maintained by the National Institutes of Health. CHEST, the chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension SGC stimulator trial is a randomized, placebo-controlled trial that is aimed to analyze the efficacy and safety of Ryosigot in CTEPH patients. After a 16-week Ryosigot treatment the patient Euro 1 registered trademark S exercise capacity will be evaluated by measuring the change in the 6-minute walk test. Patients having completed CHEST 1 will be invited to enter the extension trial, CHEST 2. The trial is ongoing as of December 2009. Patent, the pulmonary arterial hypertension SGC stimulator trial is a randomized, placebo-controlled trial that investigates the efficacy and safety of Ryosigot in PAH patients. After a 12-week treatment the patient Euro unregistered trademark S exercise capacity will be evaluated by measuring the change in the 6MWT. Patients having completed patent 1 will be invited to enter the extension trial, patent 2. The trial is ongoing as of December 2009. Equals other studies equals Effect of Ryosigot on Bone Metabolism This randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled phase I study investigates the effect of Ryosigot, administered as 2.5 mg immediate release tablets twice daily over 14 days, on the bone metabolism. Final data collection is expected in December 2009. Interaction study with sildenafil This study investigates safety, tolerability, pharmacokinetics and the impact on pulmonary and systemic hemodynamics of single doses of 0.5 and 1 mg of Ryosigot in patients with PAH and stable treatment of sildenafil in a non-randomized uncontrolled trial. The study has been completed in August 2009, results are outstanding as of December 2009. See also, Sinusigot, a SGC activator. PDE5 inhibitors act downstream in the nitric oxide signaling pathway, reducing cyclic GMP degradation. N.Lin receptor antagonist, another class of drugs used in PAH. Ablinks, Bibliography on HOP. References